Yeah, yeah. That was, that was about uh, four inches behind it, okay? Well, dead, dead rabbit. No, you, you killed it. I did. Yeah, so oh, yeah. What, what's really interesting is yeah. you hit the ground in front of it and your ricochet broke it. So <laughs> you were just a little low, but it's still a dead rabbit. It would have killed a real rabbit, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you go Nice. <laughs> he is on it. <laughs> Yeah, put them on her. Dad, take one step back. Thanks. She nipped the little piece off the side of it. Did she? No, you hit. You hit it. The piece off the side of it. Yeah, that was great. No, no, I have it on video. <laughs> Thank you. Well. Don't think about it so hard. Too late. I always, I, I'm in the habit of always seeing them again with somebody with the case on the outside. Well, I'll fly. If it's too far in the ground, I Do it. You got it.
a good lead on that one too. I felt like it would have been good. Well, I'm trying to think. Okay, good. Alright. Alright, try it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Besides the ducks, it's probably my favorite one, just because it's birds in a field, and quail hunting or pheasant hunting, where they might get a, might get flushed by either bird. So I've got machines on the far side of both fields. Oh man! So they're crossing. Yeah, and my left bird is working. So I've got two machines that aren't working. But that worked out pretty good because Wednesday is the day my one of my boys took out the all day and worked on the team. So we've got a crossing bird to shoot at. Mm -hmm. These birds are deceptively hard because you're getting to look at them for too long. Well, you know what I mean? You're staring at it for so long. When is the best time to try to hit it? Um, well, it's going really fast yeah. out of the machine into this tree. And so I usually try and get it from the tree out. It's not as much lead, and it's got a little more going away, so I don't have to lead it as much as if I would shoot it right out here. Okay. So that's definitely the area to shoot it in. Uh -huh. I always turn the safety on when I fire it. Okay. I usually try and find it right about as it passes the tree here, but I wait and get my bead a little bit out in front of it, just a hair out in front of it, and a little bit below it as it's dropping as well. Okay. Cool. Just a little behind it. Cool. Nice. Oh, Yay. Good deal. You okay. should quit on that one. Wow. <laughs> All right. You ready? Give her the ear stuff, Dad. What? Give her the ear pro. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So your safety's on. So, again, on this one, I'm going to let my down about where I live to it. And I'm going to park on it. And I'm going to there. And if the snake comes by, I get on the same level. So you get out and swing out. So you don't try to get I try and get on the same plane. And as I swing through it, I, I just drop a little bit. I just put my bead fairly below it. So that's when I pull the trigger, I'm dropping my bead below it. Shouldn't her gun be up higher? It is. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> way that? too, way, way, way. What was going on? You there? weren't even like looking at it. Yeah. Good work! <laughs> This one is, is you actually do have enough time not to aim but take a second to get it into that okay. area you want that little pocket. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you wanna try? No. So I do have a little. Still just a, just a, just a, it was too high. Above. 